What up, big dog? How you doing, man? Hold on, wait, one second. I don't see no. Y'all ain't got no bag or nothing? Oh, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. So, no, 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 Hey, RC, I, I ain't seen those, though. What's up, yeah, what's up, 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 you know what I nah. mean? CC. Yeah, yeah like, man, man. man. I done been to DJ Khaled house. Nah, what I need to hear? What I, what I finna get a pivot or a crew Y'all neck? Good. Nah, yeah, look, good. look, you the one that's really out there swinging them clubs. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's you true. Know, he, I, I ain't nothing like y'all, though. Oh, man. I, I did cop though. I got a polo. Yeah, nah, I got a polo for when I get out there. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. get nothing else. Sneakers out be tripping, man. Yeah. No, on some real, we literally just went live this morning, got hacked. It's the bots. Right. The moment you go live, you fight in technology. Right, right, right. It's not right. like we want everyone to get it. That's why people don't understand. That's why we do raffles. Right, okay. People are like, oh, why you do raffles? Well, we do raffles because the moment you put it on there, you're fighting technology. Right. So someone's going to send a bot versus if we do a raffle, we can actually like individually go through them Correct. to ensure that more people get it because it doesn't benefit our brand if one person gets a ton of shoes. Yeah, they be standing right. there with all the shoes behind right, right. me. You know, right. Stock X and the reseller gonna make all the money. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, right. we want we want people to know our brand. We want people to, yeah. you know what I mean? The more people to get it, the better. So right. literally, just this morning, it got hacked. So wow. Well, I mean, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, the pivot. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Limitless. Take a stomach cap, pinning it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Uh, when I'm feeling, got me up. Uh, on the mission, got me up. Uh, knowing me, I got the key. Uh, on the vision, I can trust. Uh, trust. Uh, limitless. Take a stomach cap, pinning it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Uh, when I'm feeling, got me up. Uh, on the mission, got me up. Uh, Man, welcome to the pivot. Obviously, we got Channing, uh, Freddie T, who you guys know. I'm RC, just for the people. Hey, is this the first time? We see time? it right here. You know, if you, hey, I, 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 I know how to, I ain't know how to spell it. So, uh, it you know, you got it, I mean. But uh, truly blessed that you brothers are here, man. We, we appreciate it. Uh, obviously, uh, find, founder of Eastside Golf, um, Elijah Wan, Ajana Koo, uh, and his partner Earl yeah. Cooper, um, going to be the new stars of the the docu series. Yes. Uh, Grills. Yes. yes. You know, yes. and I think that's, I think that's an an awesome introduction into the world of something like you're trying to change. And I love that that's part of the title, mm -hmm. right? That, that mm -hmm. you guys are trying to change, but it's not just changing the shoe game or changing apparel. It's about diversifying a sport that you guys love, that now more people that look like us love, but it is difficult to get into. So I think in starting, and it was cool, and watching some of the things that you guys have already done, you know, both starting to play the game of golf um, at six, but even for you, E, saying that like your homies weren't out there, like your boys weren't out there. So it didn't, right away, it didn't hit you that this was something you want to do, is how much has that played a role into what both of you guys are doing now? I mean, we keep that with us every day. Like that's us to our core, that's in our DNA, right? And we say it often all the time, is that the, the person that we love the most, our mothers, have never played one golf hole. So we can relate to that, but at the same time, we won a national championship. So we know what it is to play on the highest level, but someone that has never played it. So we kind of keep that balance, you know, through us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I grew up playing basketball and golf, and a lot of times I would literally come back to school with all my golf clothes on, go to the go to the game, and they're just like, yo, like, why you quit basketball? To, you know what I'm saying? And they understand now, but back then it was more of, I just saw what I was missing at home at the golf course. I mean, a lot of young brothers, a lot of people in general can learn from people on the golf course, you know, entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, those are all the people that's out there that, I mean, you can grow up under. So, you know, if you don't have it at home, you can always hit the golf course and always find Positive influence. Man, I golf lightly. He be stealing all my goddamn money. To be yeah. honest, Fred be telling me, but I golf lightly. But I say that if you can, if you can take five hours out of a Tuesday morning 
to be out there on the golf course, you got to own something. For sure. Yeah. You ain't no nine to five worker that could just take yeah. off to go golf. Sure, so man. I said that too, and does some business deals on, on the golf course. How the hell did y'all start golfing? You big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you'd be awkward out there looking yeah. at me. God yeah. damn, big man. Hey, he was slim at Morehouse. What? I saw yeah. the pictures. At Morehouse, at Morehouse, he looked like a hooper. Now he like yeah. a tight end. Yeah, he like a tight end now. I see your golf affair, but what yeah. the f are you here to do? <laughs> <laughs> big man. But how, how the hell did y'all get uh, to go? I'm from Atlanta. Yo. From Atlanta, North Springs High School. Like, I'm, I'm born, you know, raised in Atlanta since I was eight. That's all I remember. Wow. Sure. We wasn't picking up no 56s and trying yeah. to check. <laughs> trying to get up. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't doing it. How yeah. the hell did y'all get into golf at six? Yeah, you know? so a friend of the family, for me, introduced me. I, uh, I ended up growing up with his sons playing golf and basketball. We ended up uh, growing up at Adams Park, Gresham Park, playing basketball. And one day, he was just like, yo, I want y'all to you know, start playing golf. It was around the same time as basketball, you know, and gave us a club. I missed the first shot, literally missed the whole ball. And then from then on, I've been just in love with the game, you know, uh, but I grew up playing golf with his sons. We all end up uh, getting golf scholarships to college. I went to Morehouse, one went to Southern University and one went to Talladega College. And that's so, awesome, man. Yeah. But even coming up, you know, Channing mentioning Atlanta and that connection, you know, East Side thus, East side Atlanta, right? Um, but diversity in the sport, that starts with affordability. Golf ain't cheap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Golf isn't cheap. Did you guys have a sponsor to get you in or were you like were your families just able to support that um that initial introduction? No, I mean, golf isn't cheap, but also golf, there are ways to get around it, just like anything else, right? Like it's like hotels, you don't always have to stay at the Four Seasons and the Ritz. They have motels in a mm -hmm. sense, or other hotels, right? Most golf courses are public parks, fundamentally, owned by a municipality. So you can go there for free. Mm -hmm. Now, it may not be the best, but you can go there. It's not gonna cost you anything. An average bucket of balls is $10, $15. You can go to Goodwill. Where golf has missed the mark is that you only see the best you only hear about the best. Like we literally go play golf and everyone that's starting, they compare themselves to Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm starting to play football, I'm not gonna be Ryan Clark, Fred right. Taylor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't do that. I don't compare myself to the best of anything else. So I think that's one of the things that, that's part of the narrative that we're trying to shift, number one. Um, and for me, it was an initiative youth golf program. And one of the things that we stress all the time is our strategy, is, strategy has been young professionals but the reason why we go that, because you need an involved adult. Because all you, if you have children, understand you can't just take a child and put them on a golf course. Even if you gave them east side and free clubs. They're around older white men. That's the typical average. And they're going to feel uncomfortable, like you said, with oh, right? So, but we had adults that guided us through the golf course. I had my mom, my, or really my dad at that time. Both of them were in the home, but my dad was the one on the golf course with me. And so that's what we stress. So we get you guys to play golf, now become normalized for the children in your life. When I think golf, because I don't golf, mm -hmm. right? I, 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 I'm always like, I got too many jobs and I got stuff to do. Like I, when Channing says take five hours on a Tuesday morning, I actually got hives. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I, I could do so much with five hours on a Tuesday morning, but you have these stereotypes. As a black man, I have these stereotypes, right? The only golfer I would sit down and look at that looked like us, who was really good, was Tiger Woods. And it made me think about this. Mm -hmm. and. You guys went to HBCU, you walk in, you got on J's and you got on sweatsuits and you sit down, you know, you owe, you Earl, and you really owe, and you're really Earl. It's not like I'm trying to put on this front so I assimilate and I fit in. Going to a Morehouse though, it's a little, it's a little different where it's like golf isn't that sport, right? Yeah. Like a hooper could walk around y'all campus anywhere. It's like, yeah. oh, I know dude. Sure. Like yeah. he hooping, everybody relates to that. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you socially Right, being a guy who was into golf, but also truly being a part of the culture, which is what you guys bring. You know, the, the logo has on a gold chain. Mm -hmm. He's a brother. You've now started to integrate that. Was it ever a was it ever difficult? Or how difficult was it for like dudes at the school to be like, oh yeah, that's the old man, he golf, he cool as hell. Yeah. I mean, it's it's growing up, I mean, playing golf and then, you know, having people look at me a certain type of way. Uh it was, I mean, because I played golf in college, it was, a lot of people thought it wasn't really a cool sport. You know, that was in high school, that was in college, you know, but then they met me and 
they they were like, damn, like you cool, like you not like other golfers. I thought right. you were. It was almost how like golfers would actually be. It was be. almost like he regular. Yeah, he regular. <laughs> he regular dude. Right. He regular dude. And um, and ever since you know, I found the confidence just playing golf all the time. I mean, because honestly, golf is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. You know, not even start east side golf. Golf actually is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. When I when I found out that I could be good at golf, I literally felt like I could do anything. You know, so having that confidence and honestly walking around with it, but then people like, yo, why are you like, why, how are you really into this sport like that? I mean, it's just because golf gave me so much and taught me so much about myself, you know, so gaining that, like I said, confidence and learning who I am through the sport, you know, learning hard work, you know, patience, motivation, like all of those type things, um, it helped me in life. But then now people are starting to see just what golf does for you, like mentally, like uh, sometimes I would say some people would say spiritually, you know, physically you get a little workout in. I mean, it's just a sport that you can really upgrade yourself from. But, every but, oh, when you aspect. when you land on your floor, like you say you laid for three hours, right? <laughs> yeah. you, you come, you, you yeah. got a degree in accounting, mm -hmm. right? And, and some people would say, well, shoot, that's it. This is a black man from East Atlanta who got a scholarship playing golf, got his degree, has a good job in corporate America. Like yeah. that's part of, that could right. be part of our American yeah. dream. Yeah. Like you would be the dude that they send back to the hood to go, see, you don't have to yeah. play sports. <laughs> this guy can count. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but yeah. you're sitting there and you say, you know what? I want to golf. Like I mm -hmm. want to pursue this and I'm gonna tap into my entrepreneurial spirit in order to fund that. Was that almost, or, or how was that process for you in taking that leap and saying, that's what I'm gonna do? It was tough. I mean, ever since after college, like after college, I turned pro in golf. Did that for a couple of years. And while I was in college, I actually won player of the year for a conference three times. Um, and, you know, so many promises. Yo, I'm going to sponsor you. Yo, I got you when you graduate. And it was nowhere to be found. You know, that's how I only lasted two years in professional golf. Then had to leave, get into finance. And like, I, like you just said, got home one day, sat there for three hours. I just like, this ain't it. You know, I want to play golf, but first things first, let me just make a logo. The logo was just supposed to be me, you know, and I was going to put it on my bag and put it on my polo, showed it to him, and then end up just taking off into an entire brand. But to have that leap of faith, I was tired of being told no. Like, why not? Why not? Yes. Why not take the entrepreneur route? Why not make a plan, take the entrepreneur route and be successful? There's always a way. That's something that talk, that, that golf has taught me. There's always, every single shot there is, like you've practiced this shot a thousand times. And if you haven't, go back to the range and practice this some more. So now you can be ready for the next time we come out. But, you know, me being in finance, accounting, regional, I was a regional sales manager. I had, you know, over 70 clients. But now to take all that experience and put it into something that I love, I mean, it, it from my experience, that's where I got the confidence to actually even start this. Yep. And on top of that, I didn't want to turn 50 and be like, what if? Right. You know, like I'm good. like, I done heard that so many times. I it's great. I'm gonna just go back a little bit. I used to be a CNA in high school and I used to work at a uh, nursing home. Mm -hmm. And one question I asked all the old folks there, like, what's the one thing you guys would tell me that I, I that I can learn from every single one of you? And it's like, don't die with no regrets. Mm -hmm. You know, so. It's just gotten to a point for me, everything I do, I go after it. And that's where I feel like we've been successful, where I feel like I've found myself and I'm just even more confident in Eastside. And I know y'all got some pushback, because to be honest, I love the logo. I don't know if you know this, RC, Freddie knows. You can't wear that on the golf course. Right. You can't You can't have on a sweatsuit on the golf course. Mm -hmm. There's a, that good old boy golfing, they have their, their dress codes and all that. A lot of pushback, because you showing that you're gonna wear that, you can't wear that out there, and now, trying to bring the culture, trying to bring some urban into golf. Mm -hmm. I would say that golf didn't want it. And honestly, I don't know if they need it. Well, you're right. I think golf definitely needs it, cause they, but they don't know how to do it. And to, you know, O's point, that's why we're so successful. Because they've been looking for this. So to kind of pick up where he left off, you know, my career, I'm deep into golf. Exactly what you're talking about the best country club playing the most exclusive courses in America with the who's who's, right? Mm -hmm. 
I'm like, man, that's a dope logo, but I don't know if golf is ready. I had the same mindset. We go to the PGA show 2020, and I get the same reaction he get. So this is exactly what we was wearing what, was three years one. ago. It was a gray one. It was one. a gray one. And we just walking around, and people are looking like, what's that? What's that logo? Do you play golf? And I'm like, oh, okay. Now nah, we got back to the crib. So I'm like, yo, you got something. So I just think, as O has said before, this has never been done before. And so people don't really know how to react to it. But that's why we're here. Like people want it. It's just, they've never like, we're Mavericks. We're going down a whole nother path. We're trailblazers. Like we, the last time we talked to MJ, he was like, yo, y'all are- Time up. <laughs> so- No nicknames. Yeah. So, uh, Mary, mother of Joseph. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just like, it's got MJ, a little more to it. Yeah, is it like the MJ from Spider Man? Because she can change. She can be, <laughs> she can change. Nah, she be nah. Zendaya sometimes. Oh, yeah. What, what, M, what MJ we talking about? Michael, it, Jeffrey, Jordan. Oh, okay. Oh, my. okay. Just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the goat. Your, you can tell your story. The goat. <laughs> the goat. Nah, but last time we hollered at him, he was just like, yo, y'all pioneers. Like, literally, like, we looking at each other like, what? What did this man just say? He like, nah, like, you guys are blazing a, a path and a trail. And I feel like that was part of the reason why they decided to work with us. I would also say what we're doing is very difficult. It's not luck. Mm -hmm. It's not happenstance. It's extremely hard. There's a lot of people that have tried to diversify. So we stand on the shoulders of those giants that have come before us. But I think the timing, I think us being young, I think, you know, the confidence being bullish and also the product is quality. Yeah. Like, it's not trash. Yeah. Like, if it was trash, you wouldn't have been here. If somebody would have killed us online, like, listen, man, I paid a hundred whatever and it fell apart. And that's one thing I probably owe because I don't really do any of that. Like, I'm more on the business side of things and they, you know, the design from the creative, they're like quality over quantity all the time. And people always like, yo, we want more hats, we want this, we want that. And it's like, well, if it's not right, we never gonna sell it to you. So I think just for one of those things, like we're literally here and talking to you guys, I'm really like, it's coming full circle. Like we're just here to like, to tear down those stereotypes and show that golf can be done a different way. And, and, and that the game, like the problem with the game is not the game. Mm -hmm. The problem is the rules, mm -hmm. which are man-made. It's a stick in the ball, mm -hmm. fundamentally. We love a stick in the ball. You name the sport. It's when you got to do this, you got to do that. Imagine if I told you, all right, you want to play football, but you got to wear these type of cleats. You got to have this type of pants. Like just to go in the yard, and do, you know what I mean? It's like all of these rules. It's like, all right, man, you know what? I'm good. Right. Especially at this time in y'all lives, you mm -hmm. got a career. You're not looking for somebody to come with tons of rules. Mm -hmm. So yes, has it been pushed back and blow back to answer your original question 100%. But the beauty is like, we we understand the game, and but we also understand the culture, so we know when somebody's really fucking with us. Just to extend on Channing's point, I read you guys secured licensing deals with the NBA and the MLB. How important is it to secure that PGA Tour licensing deal in PGA of America? And does that does that signify that you guys have made it? Does that change things for y'all? <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy that you ask that because, well, getting a PGA tour or PGA deal, I mean, that definitely does a lot for golf brands. You know, it validates them when they come out. Right, like if right. the PGA is willing to work with you, you're validated, I mean, quote unquote. But, you know, in our lane, um, us having an NBA, MLB, <laughs> and then closing in on now NFL, but we still don't have a PGA deal. And it's kind of like a larger discussion, you know, because we're a golf company. Right. You know, even though we don't have that deal, I mean, we can still be validated because we're just going to try to grow as high as we can around it. You know, like let's say PGA is in the middle. We just grow around it as high as we can. NBA, MLB, NFL. I mean, and then even bringing in, you know, MJ, even bringing in, I mean, so many other right. influential people. I mean, eventually they're going to see it. You know, even, you know, coming on the pivot, talking with you guys, right. they're going to see it. You know, and we just got to keep going. We can't worry, really worry about 
what validation is. Because if we look to them for validation, right. we'll never be successful. Because it's a whole different entire market, right? But they have competition now. Yeah. With Live Golf, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that seems to be more, you know, lax, yeah. more relaxed, not the old, you know, clubhouse, as yeah. Channing was saying, a good old boy, mm -hmm. whatever. They're more chill, so they're probably threatened by that. It's younger, you know, it seems to be more fun. They're, they're finding money out the ass, the right. Right. Yeah, right. 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 So right. is that an opportunity as well, potentially? I think, I think potentially, you know, we keep all of our options on the table, but right now our focus is making sure like we're building a brand, not a company, and we want partnerships, not sponsorships. Mm. The way we go about it is like, we wanna work with people that wanna work with us. Like we tell it all the time, like we didn't been through so much, literally like this, the long way, you know, bad investments, stuff didn't go right. As he would say, promises, like we don't mind going the long route. Like we playing with house money. Yeah, right. Like we could have been sold out. The bag was already there. We like, nah, like we're literally trying to change a game. Like we love golf. Like we love that shit. And when you love something, it's like, nah, like we're not here to sell golf out. Like I want y'all to pick up golf because I know the power in the game. Not because I'm trying, I want y'all to buy a t-shirt. So for us, it's more like, yo, we good. Like we can go and like if, if the PGA Tour don't understand, it's all good. We can still keep going because we know who we trying to reach. We're really not trying to reach quote unquote traditional golfers. We are trying to reach people. Like even in the doc, I said like we're spreading the gospel of golf. You want to grow the church? You go outside the church. We got to get out yeah. there. We got to be taking, we got to be in the studio with Fabulous so that he can tell his kids about it. That's how we, we chilling with Mike Will in Miami. Mike like, yo, I want to do a golf tournament now. All right, well, let's figure it out. Like, that's how you grow it. Just being on the PGA Tour. Now, do we have ideas? Do we have concepts? Do we think we can help benefit them? A thousand percent. But at the end of the day, it's like, we're so focused on what? Doing it different. Like, we, we just want to do it different because it hasn't worked. And honestly, giving you guys the game, you know what I'm saying? The game of golf, making it, first we had to make it, you know, representation matters. So first we gotta, you gotta like it. And then you gotta have something to wear, but then when we give you the game, like look, the game of golf, make you interest, more interested in it. When you get the, out there on a the golf course, your circles are gonna expand. Right. You know, you're gonna meet so many different people, white, black, Asian, you know, it doesn't even matter, but everybody has the same interests of golf. And you'll find out that they have probably watch a show, you know what I'm saying? But then you guys have so many other interests other than just this game. And you got, we're not a professional golfer. We're not here to make pro golfers. We're so, honestly, more diverse people can take advantage of this game. Because I, I guess I casually golf. Uh -huh. And I'd be jacked if I get under 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I, <laughs> sneaking up on 99, I'd be like, ooh, ooh I got <laughs> him today. That's terrible. But golf is, you said it's not cool in high school and middle school. As a 35-year-old golf ain't cool to a lot of people. Because it's so humbling. Like, I, I can put one out there three, 300. Right. Mm -hmm. kill, kill a drive and shank the next eight. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how to drive. Yeah. But you just hit that 300, but I hit seven right. over there in somebody's yeah. house. Yeah. Like, not, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, getting, getting people out on the court. How do you keep, I would say, sustainability of wanting to play? It's about seven dudes I really know, black dudes, homeboys I play ball with, that really golf. It's another 300 that got a set of clubs in the garage. To your point, I'm happy that 300 got the clubs because at the end of the day, I, at least they can define it. My whole thing is don't let anyone else define golf for you. Yeah. If y'all experience it, you don't like it, cool. It's like cricket, it's like polo, it's like anything else. But don't let, oh, I just seen it, that's, that's, that's the white man's game. No, 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 it's 2022. Go try it, and if you don't like it, cool. That's always in, been get, our theory. Get in the door, because a lot of us had a chance to get in the door. I didn't pick up my clubs I was 25 years old. I didn't touch a club I was 25 years old. Right. Mm. And I love it. I like it more for the drinking and the... And, yeah, yeah, and, which yeah. is fine. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's your experience. Like, however golf is to you, like, that's, that's okay. The doc is grills when sneakers change the game. And I was all prepared to come in and talk about it, but there's so many bigger topics that just in listening to you, 
and to O that y'all see that's mm -hmm. within golf that teaches things that will help a community and a culture grow outside of golf. You mentioned the PGA Tour and that acceptance being a bigger conversation. I think it's the conversation mm -hmm. because when we go back, whether it's 2020, when it got acceptable to love black people, mm -hmm. right? The NBA jumped on it right away. Adam Silver was, was, was ready. He talked to his people because I need CP and I need LeBron and I need all these people because if I don't have them, right? If I don't have them on my side, we don't have a game. It's getting hot. Right? Yeah. Football, right? 2016, really resistant because it was Colin Kaepernick was the quarterback. It was somebody we could do without, right? 2020, mm -hmm. oh, Patrick Mahomes said something, right? Michael Thomas said something. Like all these other dudes are now saying things, the ones we need, oh, we kind of have to acquiesce mm -hmm. to that. Golf is a game that would be sustainable. The PGA Tour would live without us. Right, yes. 100%. Right? 100%. So in, in saying, because you mentioned about them seeing the value, mm -hmm. is, is, is part of that hill to climb and, and part of the, the mountain you understand of getting them to really, uh, I guess, accept or see the value in you, why you say, oh, okay, we're gonna grow around them and eventually they'll start to understand it. Like how, how, how hard do you think it will be to get them to get it, to understand it, and more importantly, because this is all we ever ask of, to value you? I honestly think it's gonna be extremely hard. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I, I literally designed Jays and put a logo on there of a man playing golf and they still don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as having a community of new people to come in, you know, I mean, because they see Eastside Golf and they see everything that we're doing. Um, I just feel like even then, I mean, with all the new people that's coming in the PGA Tour, it's been like that for a long time. You know, 1961 being a, a, a prime year. I mean, we can even go back to 1955 when black people could actually play golf legally in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Like, but 61, finally, black people can actually be a part of the PGA of America, PGA Tour. 181 for 28,000 actually black uh, PGA professionals out of all of them. And I mean, here's one. Right. You know, and it's... It, it, I mean, it's going to be extremely hard. It's just we're we're not only fighting golf, we're fighting, you know, uh, a type of people. You know, some types of people just don't want to see certain people be successful in the game, you know, um, white or black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it shows a lot of times just through, you know, small things like we are a golf company when we're Leary Half Shoes, but not even working with the, the main golf corporation. I mean, that tells you it's kind of rhetorical Michael at this point. Michael Jordan, right? Like, you know, I'm a huge Wayne fan, Lil Wayne fan, right? And he said, like, when, when Jay jumped on a track for him or when he got to do a feature with Jay, he was like, I made it. Like, he, bro, you say, yeah, you know, well, last time we talked to MJ, which, mm -hmm. if I'm drawing from context clues, means it's not the only time you talked to MJ. It's that last time. It was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yes, last yesterday. time. The last time I saw him. <laughs> You know, and, and for many of us who grew up the way we did, mm -hmm. that type of stamp of approval yeah. is, is one of those that you do believe get those right. doors open. Because on golf courses, the five of us might not be able to go. That man can go. Right. Even with the first time we talked to him, he like understood like, all right, y'all kind of hacked the code a little bit. You're young, with the Morehouse, you've been playing golf, you can play at a high level, you design dope stuff. like. Y'all got this gumbo that if I give you guys a platform, everyone's going to love it. Now, if you have that validation, whether you get it from someone else, it don't matter. Like, that also has part of the confidence. Like, he believes in us. Like, there's a real relationship there. And here's a man that don't have to do nothing. Like say nothing, like there is no, he not blowing smoke. Like if you know one thing about him, like he not blowing smoke. Right. So if he say something, it's cause he believes it. I'm not fighting nobody to work with us. Why would I spend all of my time trying to convince somebody that want to work with us when we got all these other people that want to build with us? 
Like, y'all want to build with us. Y'all invited us on the show and give us this opportunity. Like, why would I be worried about trying to get on their joint when right. I got all of these people that want to work with us? And that's kind of what he's saying. We're, we're going to build it up around them. And, and, and there's power in numbers. And we, and we prove that every day. And the people that buy our clothing prove that every day. Like, I still laugh every, because it's like, yo, people really buy this stuff. Like, a lot. A lot. <laughs> My man just thought about his bank account. <laughs> Shit, a lot. A I lot. love like, this we we in, we in, <laughs> Yo, we was just in, what was it, Tokyo, Japan. We just opened up a pop-up over there in uh, Shibuya. And like, seeing you in a whole nother country. Yeah, and they was. <sighs> East side, head to toe. Wow. We don't even know the language. We walking around with a translator. And I'm like, wow. Like, the power is there. So for us, it's like, we just need to stay focused. Continue to work with people that want to work with us. We have an amazing team. You know what I mean? We didn't get here by ourselves. Right. There's been tons of people that have helped us along the way. A lot of no's, but like I said, we're not worried about that. Like, the people that, man, our team, we press them every day. I saw on your page, oh, uh, you got a lesson back in the day from Tiger. Yeah. He got your grip right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're talking about MJ the GOAT. Tiger's also the GOAT. Yes. Yeah. Has there been any talks about a potential collab there? Not specifically Tiger Woods. Definitely, you know, talks with Nike Golf. Definitely talks with, like, Tiger Woods Foundation. Okay. You know, uh, working with Genesis Invitational, you know. Um, but as far as, like, directly working with Tiger, no, not yet. Have you spoke to him since? Uh, no, nah, not haven't spoke to him since, you know? Um, and on top of that too, I just feel, I feel like, you know, when we talk about Tiger, he did exactly what he was supposed to. Right. You know, number one in the world, the over 80 yeah. wins. I mean, Hall of Fame, I mean, you name it in golf, he ain't gotta say a word and y'all know who Tiger is. Right. Yeah. But as far as getting people that aren't really golfers or just really into the sport, getting them more attracted to the sport, that's where I feel like we come in at. I mean, we want to definitely want to help Tiger. We definitely want to help Nike and Jordan brand, all of them, you know? But people just, I feel like people have their, their time, you know, to influence, and he's still influencing. He just won, what, what's the uh, PIP yeah, yeah, on PIP. PGA, PGA mm -hmm. Tour, 15 million. Yeah. He ain't even picked up a club, last, well, this year. Yeah, you and know? we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Tiger. Wouldn't even, we wouldn't even like, be yeah. here. Like, you Tiger's know? Like, the GOAT. For yeah, sure. it's like, the, I mean, he's the reason that I, that I go so hard at golf. Like mm. before my golf tournaments, I used to watch his highlights, you know what I'm saying? And, and even with everything I do now, I mean, when, you, when I see this logo, I see slick a piece of Tiger Woods in it. It's beautiful the way that we've gone, because if we had the Tiger validation, there would have been so many other things like stereotypes. All right, cool. That's a golf company, da, 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 mm. to go left. Right. And to be working with NBA and to be working with MJ and be working with MLB, it gives you this, this culture, this sex appeal that's just different, that flips it on its head. Mm -hmm. And I think eventually it's going to come. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't come, it's, it's cool too, because at the end of the day, like, we love the game. Mm -hmm. And so the impact that we're having and the way that we're going about it is just so different because golf is just, it's just been so traditional. Like, mm -hmm. We want to go. We want to go left. But I would, and and just the back that I do want to work with Tiger Woods. Um, <laughs> yes, Let's send him some, clear. Um, you know, send him some nice, uh, you know, props. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get him. We'll yeah. get it over. Yeah. Get him away from the baggies. <laughs> yeah. you know, hey. right. So I saw your face, right? You talk about being in Tokyo. They they decked out head to toe. You know, they can't even speak the language. They mentioned MJ. <laughs> he mentioned Tiger, which I did see pique your interest again. You think golf got groupies? Because they gotta have like the. Like they could be if they in Tokyo. First off, I don't know. If, <laughs> uh, like, you know what? They do see their face a lot. Oh, see, hey, that's the one yeah. hard thing about playing football. You got that helmet on. Like right. that golf is you by yourself. Yeah. It ain't Team Johnson. It's yeah. you. Hey, it wasn't a hostess safe. What's that? Yeah. What? So. Oh, with the Perkins. Uh, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, um, so like, like they, they, the, they the guys now. They got the. They and got the plug, plug. Yeah, they she are the plug. Yeah, you uh, might need to go golf with them. Lucrative with the not financially. 
<laughs> it's a lucrative recreational league. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a lot of people that wanna play golf. Yeah, there's a lot of people that wanna play golf. <laughs> there's a lot of people that side. wanna play golf, and we're here for everyone. You know, there's a lot of <laughs> non golfers <laughs> yeah, you know, that, yeah. that, that we entertain. Getting them all you in know. the sport. <laughs> Wherever we go, we're talking about golf. So we grow in the game. There we go. Yeah. We gotta be everywhere to grow it, baby. <laughs> And the, you and never the, know. The capsule got some nice women pieces, so y'all can just dangle. Hey, man, I met hey, y'all 15 hey, years hey, too late. Man. 15 Yo. years too late, I should have got with y'all. Listen, 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 we, we grow the late, game. Man. We gotta get up. We gotta get up here, man. Well, yeah. 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 We, we, well, but see, go. that's the thing though. We take it everywhere. So you're right. We might be in the club, but this is what we wear. We might be courtside. This is where we wear. Like, we might be at the barbershop. This is what we wear. You might be working out. This is what we wear. Like, this is. It's beautiful because it's golf clothing, but it's not like I always like we like to say we're rooted in golf. Like we're a golf brand, but you can wear it everywhere. Right. Like my one of my favorite lines is, "You ain't never played polo before, but you wear polo. Right. So why would you do this to us? Right. They'd be like, oh well, I only gotta wear that if I play golf, or I only wear that if I'm black. Those are black clothing. Nah, it's clothing. It's a brand. Right. Right. So put me in the same boat you putting Ralph Lauren in. Don't put me over here in a, in a box, because that's our whole thing. We never wanted to be boxed in anyway. We do so much. I've written three children's books before. We've grown other things. He's got a million other ideas. Like, don't just put us in a box. And so for us, that's, that's what we're all about. And it had to be a hell of a conversation starter. Yeah. How's the girl say? What's that? Yeah, this is my company, you know, we yeah. just, uh, <laughs> that's simple. Mom, I was easy. I'd ask, you know, John, oh, they say, John man. who? You say, don't worry about it. What's your name? <laughs> yeah. That's so, baby, that got me married. That shit worked for oh, years for me. You know, John, John who? Don't worry about it. <laughs> HBCU too. What's that? He worked at HBCU too. Oh yeah, it works everywhere. Everywhere. Shit, work. Yeah. Put my camera. Yeah, y'all yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I gave it to him one time before. I'm give it to y'all one more time. That's the last time I'm giving it to y'all out there. Man, it's interesting being a hardcore golfer. Oh, hell, Chan. We change seats. <laughs> but DraftKings will not change on you. DraftKings is still offering a great deal, fellas. Any new customer that uses the promo code PIVOT, you make a $5 pregame money line wager on any football game. If your bet hits, you get $150 in free bets. And the same game parlays are something I'm going to keep preaching to everybody out there. Same game, multiple bets in that game. Now the winnings go up and up and up and up. I love the same game parlay. You're taking this black and yellow too far. Well, I like to see your sports book history because <laughs> you probably lost a lot with those Pittsburgh colors on this year. <laughs> We're not talking about the sports book. I am always going to tell you about the DraftKings Daily Fantasy because the sports book isn't everywhere. Just like we told y'all now, any mobile device, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. New customers using the promo code PIVOT. Any pregame money line wager on any football bet, your bet hits, you get $150 in free bets. And it's not just about football. Basketball is rolling right now, whether it's college or pro. You can do the same thing, and DraftKings is the place for you. How do you spell the pivot again? P I. No, I before E, except after C, right? But it's P. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask about Tiger, right? Because he, he didn't say I'm black. He's mm -hmm. Caucasian, whatever that word he made mm -hmm. up. But we all adopted him because he had color in his skin. He had some melanin. I love VJ Singh. He's from Fiji. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's dark. So I'm cheering for the dark, dude. I ain't going to lie. Mm -hmm. Was Tiger really Jackie Robinson of golf? Or was somebody else before that? Because it, Jackie got black people into baseball, mm -hmm. and then it took off. That's one Tiger fella. I ain't seen another black dude on TV. You say 181, and that's a crazy number. I haven't seen but one out of those 181 on TV. Mm -hmm. So did he really break the door open, or do we need more to come behind You want to explain that? Yeah, so two separate things. So 181 is PGA of America. These are the folks that we like to say gatekeepers. They work at all the golf courses. So Sunny Isles, all the ones in my Miami Beach Spring, whatever golf courses in America here, those are PGA professionals. Then you have the PGA Tour. Tiger definitely broke down that door, a thousand percent, right? Like, if you go back, there's videos. When Tiger got into the Hall of Fame, he mentioned it, like Charlie Sifford. He named his son 
Charlie after the first African-American man to break the color line on the PGA Tour. And so he definitely understands the history of the game and understood like, yo, there's certain golf courses I couldn't get into because of the color of my skin. So I feel like he definitely recognized that. And there's others. You have Harold Varner. You got a guy by the name Willie Mack that just got his card. Mm-hmm. Joseph Bramlett. Joseph Bramlin, Tim O'Neill. So I feel like it's tough because he's the first one and it's a lot on his shoulders. So for us, because he's just sacred to us. Like mm-hmm. I know that he's not necessarily going to do everything that everyone would like, but Tiger is like, we're not here if it's not for Tiger Woods. So you're right. Did Tiger do everything that everyone would have loved? Nah, but he dominated the sport and he showed that a black man could put on a green jacket and a, mm. go to a place where it's called the Masters. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's what he did. Mm. So dominated. 97 broke every record. They changed golf because of him. Yeah. To your point, whether he said it, it's what we saw. Like they say, more is caught than taught. Like, you could say it all day, but I'm seeing it as a kid. We watching on TV, like, that's me. I want to be that. So for us, a thousand percent, right? Can you compare him to Jackie Robinson? I believe so, because he did that. And to O's point earlier, it's like, we we just picking up that mantle. Like, like we're taking it to the, to the next level. And that's what other sports, you just never had that. You don't ever seen that in basketball and football because, you know, early we just kind of flooded the gates and dominated, but it's coming. It's coming. Mark our word. I'm a football player, Mm -hmm. right? Because of the way that football games take place, I understand football passion, right? Like, I I understand the mindset I got to get into to say that Fred Taylor outweighs me by 30 pounds, but at some point today, I'm going to have to run my face through his (laughs) face, and if I blink... No, no, he's saying he's going to have to try. Try. Or try. Or try, attempt. Right? Attempt. Attempt. Let's get that straight right now. I have I have no issues with that. I have no issues with that, Freddie T. I try. Sometimes I missed. Every now and then you fail. It was what it was. We did our You know what I mean? Yeah. But listening to you just now talk about Tiger Woods and golf, and and we all know the mannerisms of when you're in the barbershop and somebody like, hey, no, I really feel it. When you sit up and we hear, right? We we get it. And so now you take that, you guys put it into your company. You have that sort of passion. And then grills when, when shoes change the game, and now somebody's saying, we do want that sort of, we do want to tell this story, right? And so now it has to come, and Hannah Storm yeah. directed it. She, yeah, Hannah sent me. This is how I found out about right. it. She said it to me, like, I think you need to check this story out. Right. And so now you have a camera following you on part of this journey. And it's not the whole journey. Yeah. So you're trying to make sure I give them what they need that represents us. How was that process for you guys? It was revealing for me, I mean, honestly, because it was a lot of things I never really thought about. Some of the questions that they asked, you know, like what really, I mean, really breaking down what really influenced me in golf and what made me the man I am today. I mean, a lot of things that I am is because of golf. Even like I found out I wanted to be an accountant because I played with one. You know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't come from home. I think it, it unveiled the power of the game, right? So, like, let's let's take it back. Like, so, the, you know, big shout out to uh, Sean Pekas. I don't mm. know if y'all know Pekas. Um, but we got to build a relationship with him, you know what I mean, through CAA Sports. And he then was like, was he EP'd the project early on, and we had a relationship, and basically was like, all right, I want my guys to be a part of it. And then we went from a part of it to like, nah, let's do the story on them. Okay. Yeah. Which was already kind of baked and ready. So it kind of showed us the power of it. But one thing I feel like we're gonna, that I love about the doc is the fact that like, a lot of people have their own narrative on how we got here, but they about to really find out from us and other people that was really in there putting in the work. And I think also people will see the work. Like who wants to see on Instagram us up four o'clock in the morning doing work. Like, that's not how you quote unquote grow an Instagram page, right? Like right. you grow a page by showing the glitz and the glamour and people want to mm-hmm. see that. And that's what a lot of people have fell in love with. But like, yo, we work hard, like really, really hard. Like the luck is over. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, the t-shirt and what da, da, da. Like, nah, we have a business. Every day we wake up, we have employees. 
We have staff calls. We have stuff that has to get shipped out on time. Customer service, right. investors, partners, brand partners. Like, there's a whole ecosystem that I feel like I'm happy that I feel like the doc will unveil mm -hmm. that people don't necessarily see every day. I think they just see the likes and this and that. So I'm super excited about Grails coming out. I think it's just an opportunity and an amazing platform for us. And I think, lastly, I'll just say like, you get to hear other people's stories on why they love golf right. and not just ours. And so you may not relate to us, but you might relate to Khaled or you might relate to CC Sabathia or you might relate to, you know, who else is on there? Like. Fat Joe, right? Fat Joe, right, yeah, right, big right, shout out right. to Fat Joe up in NYC. Joe has been- Big supporter. Big, big supporter, we call him like, and that's the thing like, and that's the connectivity of the brand where it's like, you talking to Fat Joe, but it's off us being us. Like we not trying to be rappers, we not trying to get featured, but we love his music. We love the culture, what he represents. And I feel like we're literally like, golf belongs in the culture. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring that too, and it, it's coming. I'm telling you, like, the sport of golf and culture, you can't keep us out no longer. Like, we coming, and we're going to question every rule that you have, and you better be able to validate it. Uh, the culture and golf coming together. Isn't it y'all and the culture trying to break down the wall of golf? Yeah, yeah. Do y'all feel as if the culture is behind y'all like they should be? 100%. Definitely. They, they, ride, they riding with the, with the new vision of y'all's vision. 100%. Definitely. And on top of that, too, I mean, to truly break down golf, it can't just be us. Like, we're going to have to yeah. be on the pivot. We're going to have to go to other shows, other podcasts, talk to, have MJ and Steph Curry and, like I said, all these other people that were east side to actually say the same things that we're saying. Yeah, Chris Paul. I can't Chris forget Paul, Chris. Like my goodness. Even on the, the boycott when it uh, happened in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. you know, um, first thing Chris Paul has on is east side. We turn on CNN. The boycott, he's, you know, he was head of MBPA at the yep. time, and he has on east side. Head to toe. You know, I mean, and it just shows, like, this is what we're here for. You know, you're going to see that on the dot. You're going to see what we stand for, you know, and that's that's what makes us different yeah, and successful. Yeah, the culture is definitely behind sure. us, though. Like, like, that's the only reason. It's the community. Like, it's not yeah. two guys. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're, we're here, but it's a whole, it's a triangle. Y'all just looking here, but it's... If we got a force, we got a team behind us, you know what I mean? And that's 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 what I um I think people are gonna see. They're gonna see our, our parents, you know what I mean? The the stock that we come from, you know what I mean? The value, like, yo, his mom is one of the strongest people I ever met. Like him, <laughs> his mom is right over here like this. <laughs> Y'all don't know it, like she got his back, like, yo, son, you can do it. Like, there's nothing you can't do. And so when you have that and you know, my family, same thing. It's like, you know, like our family together, like it's just, it's hard to put it in words. And I think you feeling the passion mm -hmm. more than anything is like, man, we, we live in a dream. Like this, this right here is bigger than, than the logo. Yeah. It's bigger than golf. Like we're changing lives. Yeah. For so real, for real. Six episodes. Yes. On Hulu, right? Yep. Six Hulu. episodes. You guys got a favorite episode? We ain't seen it. Oh, we ain't seen it. Nah? <laughs> yeah. nah, when you get nah, to see it? Because it's, it's a news documentary. They <laughs> yeah. wouldn't let us uh, get you know, in, in, into that. So it's, it's raw. It's uncut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we're we going to be just surprised as y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing, we doing the private screen <laughs> in the night. Um, so we're super excited about that, to share that with our family. It's Hopefully, awesome. if y'all in town, pull up. You know what I mean? Well, definitely. For sure. But definitely. And, it, and I guess I'll just say, I mean, what I'm most excited about with the doc um, is I I definitely get to truly, we definitely get to truly show our talents. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of people just, like he said, think that it's just easy and think that it just comes and somebody's behind me, you know, uh, designing all this stuff. But I mean, I creative director, I work with one graphic artist and we get all this done, you know? You like, <laughs> yeah, we get all this shit done, you know? <laughs> and so I just feel like, I want the next generation to see this documentary because now it's just a different way that they can go to find something else that they love. Yeah. You know, whether if they pick up a golf club or not, hopefully they do, they'll find on the golf course something that they actually are interested in. 
You know, it, it's, it might not be golf, but it might be something else. But golf is definitely the way that I see that we can truly grow as a people. And I hope the next generation sees that. Y'all are better businessmen than golfers. I appreciate that. Appreciate I, I would, is, it, but that, is that upsetting for me to say? No, 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 no. It's a little, I'm going to be honest, it's a little upsetting for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but just, bringing that smoke. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you, yeah. <laughs> you'd be on the pivot if you were still golfing. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the reason... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I just... I was gave, gonna break it gave it him the foundation right, right, to get right, here. Right, right. They taught him the lessons <laughs> that he needed to get here. A hundred percent. And I'm like, man, man I'm... But the doc, man, December 14th, it's coming out on Hulu, six episodes. It's going to be... I, and I'm happy because it came out Q4, everyone's home, yeah. perfect holiday, binge yeah, watch it. binge watch that. Check it out, like... It's gonna be something that you've never seen before. It's gonna be like the logo. It's gonna be us. It's gonna be raw, and it's just the first one, the first of many. And and we know, like, trust me, it's 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 just it's just a start. Both of you together, your 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 biggest pivot, going going deciding to go to Morehouse and crossing paths. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That was the first decision for me that I made that necessarily didn't align with my parents, I'm gonna be 100 with you. Mm. Like I love my parents, but I never applied myself in school. So like, it was like, you sure you can do it? And they were just trying to protect their baby. But that's when I flew out the nest. I went down to Morris, I'm like, nah, like I, 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 I wanna play golf. Like this, I wanna be here. So yeah. that and, was it for me. And then uh, my freshman year in college, uh, I was, I actually went to Benedict College in South Carolina. I know Benedict, And, uh, yeah. and then I, we both transfers into mm. Morehouse. Okay. Yeah, we're both transfers. That, yeah. And I don't yeah. know what it is about transfers in Morehouse. They tend to work a little harder. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, it's a very clickish school. And like, there's a lot of tradition. And if you don't get the full four years, it's almost like a rookie coming in versus someone that came in. It's like, yo, I've been with you since my right. rookie year. Right. We had the same draft class. We went through the same blah, blah, blah. Versus now you just come to the team. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, nah, you know, it's like, right. like this is a real stealer. You got to earn your way on. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When, you, when you're different. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I had all my friends in Atlanta, but at Strokers in Magic City. Here I ain't, you go. Go. <laughs> I ain't need no teammates. Oh, I appreciate it, y'all. You know, <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you know, boy. That, I appreciate that. It was a great report. Look, look, look. I'll go, Nate. Hey, hey. Put it on the table. Put that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on the table. Put it on the right camera. I want to make sure we put that. We want to come up to Happy Dad. We can. You know what I'm saying? Get the 360 view. Matter of fact, are we talking about draft class? No, I've just been drafted. The East Side. You know what I mean? I just don't know if you could grab the phone like CD Lamb did, though. Yeah, yeah. You know? I will. I will say this, man, and um, it's definitely a testament to Some both of you. Golf hey, look, That's what bro. I'm saying. I'm already that... on it. See? I'm looking at these with the uh, shattered backboard. Here, here's right, here's, what, you good. here's what you don't know. Fred's gonna take all the hats. Okay, all right, like, yeah. All right. So, so we're gonna need you yeah. to actually send. You know send what? I'll go on and buy it because I, I am when I sit in my room, get ready for work. I just internet shop anyway. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna wear it, and y'all, I'm gonna take care of it. I'm and telling I you, it's I the appreciate best your boy. Lounge wear around the crib. You talking about holidays, comfort? Like, just feel that though. Like, Earl, <laughs> Earl, but Earl, what you that's talking about? Hey, bro, that, that, that's why he said you're a better you businessman. Yeah, get it back. That's soft, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't worth that hurting. You ain't worth that hard I'm 43. <laughs> I wear this, I wear that junk <laughs> everywhere. Hey, yeah, this is not loungewear for yeah. me. I'm gonna wear I'm it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's think, what we wanna be. You know, and, and preparing to do this, man, obviously you always wanna do a good job. Like, I went back in and watched other videos that you guys have done, other interviews, and I was, I told him before, and I can be honest. I was like, Chan, man, like we're gonna have to like get them into it and not just ask them questions right. about the doc. I was like, because they they kind of chill. Like they don't really, y'all totally blew me away, man, yes, with the passion. Like I don't, I don't go. You know what I'm saying? My dad loves it and he's always trying to trying to get me out there. He's retired now. And I was like, Pop, I just wanna come and hang with you. Not go sure. hang, but I don't. Yeah, sure. And I just wanna say, like, listening to y'all talk about the sport, what it's taught you. Uh, the things that you value about it, and the fact that you want other people to be involved in it because you want them to share that passion, that's why it works. It, it is your talent, it is your skill, it is your minds, but it's the fact that when you can feel something, it's different. You can tell me whatever you want, but if you telling me, and I'm like, he full of crap. He don't believe <laughs> yeah. that himself. Yeah. People can't get into it. So everybody, so Hulu, yeah. watch the doc. Uh, Ooh, grails, grails um, when the shoe game, when 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 shoes, shoes change the, the game, game, 
uh, directed by Hannah Storm. Um, oh, E, man, we appreciate y'all, boys. This was amazing, man. Uh, we wish y'all all the best, bro, for sure. 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 Thank y'all, boys. Man. Yes, sir. All love, bro. Thank you. Yes, yes, Thank you. Yes, yes, hey, my dog, hey, my dog had to take the jacket off. Hey. Hold up. Limitless. Take a stomach cow, pinning it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, got me up. Uh, on the mission, got me up. Uh, knowing me, I got the key. Uh, only vision I can trust. Uh, trust. Uh, limitless. Take a stomach cow, pinning it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling.